two, one, zero, and lift off. Space shuttle Atlantis's lift off from the Kennedy Space Center on the 8th of July marked the end of the road for America's shuttle program and an end to a 30-year rivalry with the Russians. You can't say we've won the space race. Just one stage of it has ended, and we're ready to work together in the future. NASA is not ending its space program completely, but any manned mission will now be dependent on Russian spacecraft like this one, and it will have to pay $51 million a time for the privilege. If, for economic reasons, we decide not to continue with the International Space Station, or we decide to stop building shuttles, space programs all over the world will close, and it will be our fault. Such cooperation would never have been conceivable during the Cold War, but rising costs mean a partnership is the only realistic way forward. Both Russia and the US are still working to complete the International Space Station, which should be finished by next year. Rivalry, of course, dies hard, but for now at least, both sides say they're ready for this new era of even deeper cooperation.